SpaceX has abandoned its test of the world's most powerful rocket. But as science and tech correspondent Breno Halloran reports, there's more positive news for a pair of Australian space companies. Given the explosive end to its last launch, still under Federal Aviation Authority investigation, there was far greater focus on SpaceX's latest attempt to test the rocket set to take humans back to the moon. With Flight 8 today, we're hoping to get through a, few, a full flight. No full flight, not even a launch. The eighth test of the recently extended Starship and its 71-metre-tall super-heavy rocket was scrubbed seconds from scheduled liftoff. 30 seconds to go. Oh. And we just heard a hold. So we kicked. Psych. A new test date is yet to be announced. Not even a cyclone will stop a Queensland space company making history. Gilmore Space Technologies insists its first launch will go ahead, despite tropical cyclone Alfred set to make landfall between their Gold Coast company headquarters and their North Queensland launch site. We've had two go through uh, up in the Bowen area in the last 18 months, so we understand how cyclones behave somewhat. At 25 metres tall, Eris will become the first Australian-made orbital rocket to launch in Australia. The launch window opens Saturday week, though a company reaching orbit in their first attempt is rare. You can see the geopolitical risks that are out there right now. It's very important that Australia has the ability to develop its own technology, to send its own satellites into space. From launches to landings, and this is a history-making space delivery. A capsule co-created by the US Air Force and NASA, which spent 45 days in orbit, recently landed safely on South Australian soil. This ushers in a brand new era. It was retrieved at the Coonabar test range by a team from Southern Launch. It is the first re-entry at an Australian commercial space site. Another landing is expected within two months, as the Australian Space Agency aims to make the country a landing hub. So Australia is positioned and Southern Launch is actually positioned to be the global destination for re-entries from space. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.